NBA fans, welcome back to my channel, Jordan vs. LeBron. Now, whoo, we're in season five of Jordan vs. LeBron. If you're new to this, let me go ahead and give you the rundown so you don't get lost, but so you don't get real lost. You want to go back and watch every episode uh, from Jordan's rookie season, LeBron's rookie season, until season five. We already did LeBron season five, regular season and playoffs. And now this is Jordan's season five, regular season and playoffs. Okay, if you made the finals, we put that on there. We put LeBron's finals on here. So, guess what you need to go do? Go back and watch those episodes, those videos, so you can get caught up, so you don't be saying some crazy stuff like, oh, you hating on LeBron. Why are you doing this to LeBron? You know, so let me answer a lot of questions I've been getting, you know. <laughs> you hating on LeBron. First of all, I'm only putting up the stats, okay? I can't hate on something that's in the NBA history books, I mean, I could, but I'm just showing you what's what. So if you lose, that's not considered a meltdown. I've said that before. If you listen to the videos, if you lose, that's not considered a meltdown. Everybody loses. What is considered a meltdown is your stats. Not if you score 45 points. Not if you grab eight rebounds. Not if you grab eight assists. We're not particularly looking at that, per se. Okay, that's going to be the stat line that tells, you know, a lot of it. But we're looking at percentages, three-point percentages. And we're looking at how many threes you took. Did you try to take the three or not? Shooting one three a game, that's not trying. You, you try to, If you shot, like, two or more, I consider that trying. So we're looking at field goal percentage. We're looking at turnovers. So that's what we're looking at percentages, not just the your overall stats, points, assists, and rebounds. Yes, we love that, but if you know you score forty points and you only shot thirty five percent or forty one percent, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, especially, we got to consider where were your shots? Where did you shoot at? What's your position? You know. Uh, I would say if you shot 41%, it's not really that good. But we got to look at your three points. How many three-pointers did you shoot? Where were you shooting on the floor? Were you shooting those shots inside the paint? That's how the NBA works. A lot of fans don't understand these things. You know, and a, and a lot of LeBron fans think this is hate. <laughs> We took all the fundamentals out of the game. We took reality out of the game. We took, I remember when your coach told you back in the day, take the most, take the high percentage shot. Okay, the high, the most high percentage shot was in the paint. Then it was mid-range. And then it was three-point, okay? Because back then, nobody was just going to let you shoot in their faces. Like today, you know, in this era, nobody's going to let you shoot. If you ever... Notice Reggie Miller, he would have to go around three screens <laughs> and he still could get could barely get that three off with a hand in his mug, okay? It was just different back then. Nobody's going to let you shoot the three. So you had to earn your points. So we, we went into LeBron seasons, and I'm not beating up on the man, but we saw him melt down in every playoff series that he had been in. The finals, we look at the percentages in the final stats, 2006 playoffs. He melted down in that. Go look at that. Um, you, you don't believe me? Go look at it. So the 2006 playoffs also, no, 2007 playoffs also, he was a minus 49 for the playoffs. So who did he carry to the to the finals if he was a liability on the floor to his teams? I don't care if he had 45 points a game. If he was a minus, you was a liability to your team. And he showed that, especially in that Detroit 
series, if you go look at the stats, stop looking at the overall stats and look at the percentages, look at the turnovers. Look, that's what you got to look at, okay? So you go back and watch those videos. Um, let's get into this. I'll talk a little bit about that later on. But Jordan just came off the 87-88 season when Pippen arrived <laughs> on his magic carpet and saved Jordan from his 1-9 um, that was going to be Jordan's legacy for the rest of his career if, if Pippen didn't show up with his 10 points. Jordan had a monster season that season. We all know that season. He took all the major awards, uh, ended up doing back-to-back -back 100, 100 blocks and 200 steals plus in back-to-back -back seasons. He scored 35 points per game. He had over three steals. Over 1.5 blocks. Uh, his assists and rebounds did go down. I think they went to five point something. So he 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 still killed it. You know, most people know that season, but I don't think a lot of people know this season right here. Jordan comes back the next year after they lose to the Pistons. We just don't know where <laughs> Pippen's nine points. We don't know what that was going to do to help out in the second round because his 10 points got Jordan over the hump, even though Jordan put up 25 of uh, 45 points per game. <laughs> Who cares about Jordan's stats? So uh, as we look right here, Mike came back the next season with nothing to prove. OK, <laughs> he had nothing else to prove. I guess he had to prove he was better than Pippen. Obviously, that's what we've been told now. So Mike came back after that 88, 87, 88 season and put up these ridiculous stats that many don't even know about. So for that 88, 89 season, he put up 32.5 points per game. That was down, I think, three points per game. Uh, he put up eight rebounds, eight assists, <laughs> Uh, I think this this is doubled on here. I think it's wrong. 2.9 steals, 0.8 blocks, 3.6 turnovers, 53.8 field goal percentage, 27.6 three-point percentage, 1.2 attempted threes. 85% from the line. So let's get into this. So we've all heard that Jordan, he was nothing but a score, nothing but a score. I mean, this is the year that Pippen arrived. So Jordan is still grabbing all these boards, getting all these rebounds. He put his rebounds up, put his assist up. Wow. LeBron never had a season like this. And this isn't even, I don't even think Jordan's best season. Last season was his best season. But LeBron has never put up a season like this where he had, you know, 32, 8, 8, and basically three steals a game. I mean, on 53, this is a guard. I mean, <laughs> I think we done went through, what, three, three, four seasons already since Jordan was a rookie? And he has shot 50% from the field or better as a guard. This is the fifth season. LeBron hasn't even shot 50% as a forward who shoots 70% uh, of his points in the paint. And if you go back and watch my video, LeBron isn't a better shooter than Jordan. I think that's what it's called. And no, LeBron is a horrible shooter compared to Jordan it took LeBron seven seasons until he shot 50% from the paint. Jordan did it his first five of seven seasons. Five of his first seven seasons, a guard. And you guys are calling this guy a ball hawk. Let me tell you what. <laughs> this guy, if you're, if this guard is shooting 50% from the paint, he don't even have to really drive. So he's going to kill you 50%. Uh, uh, of his shots driving to the paint and then 50% of his shots killing you from the mid-range. This is incredible. One of the, 
LeBron fans know nothing about basketball. That that's the problem. This guy is shooting basically fifty four percent, fifty three point eight, uh, fifty three point eight percent from the field. That's what do you do with this guy? He's hitting his shot more than uh, every other time he gets the ball. <laughs> I mean, this dude's unstoppable. So, 27.6 from the free throw line, but, I mean, from the field uh, three-point line, but 1.2 attempts. That's nothing. He wasn't even trying. If you look at LeBron's uh, up to season, season five, he's doing four to six attempts a game and still shooting like 30%, 29, 31 it, it 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 just like I said in, in the videos, he doesn't take no for an answer. Mike will be like, "What? Well, okay, I'm not a good three point shooter." But Mike wasn't trying to be a good three point shooter. Mike was killing you on the mid range, slashing to the basket, these type of things. So he he really didn't care about the three. That's not a high percentage. You guys don't know how basketball was taught. You don't just shit out. You don't just sit out there and shoot threes, and you couldn't back in that era anyways. Once you got hot, maybe you hit a couple, uh, they're really going to D you up. So it, it's not you're not going to be getting that shot off like that. To I'll talk about how they get all these shots off today. It's just it kind of looks like everything's fixed, but that's going to be another video. Um, 85% from the line. So, you know, Jordan had a monster season. And here we go. You said the 80s was weak. Jordan did not win MVP after putting up this monster season. He made the playoffs. He had a winning record. Wow. You guys, you guys said the, the East was weak and the 80s was weak. And he was playing plumbers and put up these numbers and couldn't even win MVP. So we're going to get to the playoffs on the next one. Uh, comment subscribe. Tell me what you think.